Baseball has always been a game of numbers. Players' legacies defined by the averages and accumulations on the back of a few inches of cardboard. And if those numbers measure up, that face on the front of the card makes its way to Cooperstown, New York, where it is immortalized in bronze. 20 second basemen have been enshrined in the Baseball Hall of Fame. There is one glaring omission. Lewis Rodman Whitaker Jr. For 19 years, Sweet Lou was a stalwart at second base at the corner of Michigan and Trumbull. The 1978 American League Rookie of the Year was a five-time All-Star, three-time Gold Glove winner, and a four-time Silver Slugger. But in his single year on the ballot, he failed to earn enough votes from the Baseball Writers Association of America, not just for entrance to the hall, but to remain on future ballots. In the 21 years since the vote, four second basemen have been added to the hall. Joe Gordon, Ryan Sandberg, Roberto Alomar, and Craig Biggio. There's a strong case for Lou over each one of them. Let's look at Ryan Sandberg of the Cubs. Whitaker's peer in the 80s. Offensively and defensively, the numbers look similar. But with context, Lou's star shines brighter. Sandberg may have won more gold gloves, but he didn't have much competition in the National League. Whitaker, however, had the battle with Frank White for an entire decade in the AL. And when you dig into the defensive data, Lou made nearly 1,000 more putouts and turned nearly 400 more double plays than Sandberg in just 313 more career games. Offensive metrics favor Lou over Sandberg as well. With an OPS plus three points higher than Rhino and seven more wins above replacement. Are counting stats more your thing? Well, there are only five second basemen in the history of the game with 200 home runs, 1,000 RBIs, 1,000 runs scored, 2,000 hits, and 1,000 walks. Rogers Hornsby, Joe Morgan, Roberto Alomar, Craig Biggio, and you guessed it, Lou Whitaker. As much as baseball is about numbers, America's pastime, at its core, is about telling a tale. And there might be no better story than that of Lou Whitaker and Alan Trammell. Over 19 seasons, Trammell and Whitaker played nearly 2,000 games together, becoming the most iconic double play duo in the history of the sport. Ram was finally given his rightful spot in Cooperstown in 2018. Let's hope the Contemporary Era Committee finishes the story in 2023 with Lou's bust taking its rightful place for eternity. Lights, camera, fashion. Here in Detroit, we aren't afraid to stand out to experiment, to rep and create our own signature style. And from 1996 to 2001, our Pistons were ahead of their time, trading in classic red, white, and blues for an electrifying teal. A bold hue that brought on legendary looks from some of Detroit's brightest stars. And while the trend proved to be a fad, the teal era will never be forgotten by diehards here in Detroit. Tonight, everything old is new again. And we welcome in a new generation to feel the teal. We might have come from different parts of the country, but man, did we love to play the game and to be on the field together. And I'll always remember that night in 1999, after they played the last game at Tiger Stadium, they wanted us to be last, introduced together again, as it always was and should be. This journey started a couple of decades earlier. We were just kids. You were a prospect from Virginia who was drafted as a third baseman, but moved over to second because that's where you were needed 
and paired with me, this shortstop from Southern California. And yeah, we'd laugh about the conditions of playing double A baseball together in Montgomery, Alabama back in 1977. We finished the season winning a championship and then we were promoted to Detroit together. We would then make our major league debuts at Fenway Park on September 9th, 1977. What a pleasure it was having you next to me for the next 18 plus years. Within it, we found a new level of stardom. These are prime seats to tomorrow's game. Yeah, you're sitting between home and first. We'll be between first and third. Wave to them. Within it, we want it all. The Tigers are the champions of 1984. I know you made me better, Lou, and I hope I helped you as well. And now we're joined on the wall at Comerica in a town where we each achieve things we'd never have imagined. And those things were achieved together. Thanks, Lou, your friend, Tram. <laughs>